In the last video, I talked to briefly about the image list control. This is a control that's used to store a number of images that you can use in many ways on your forms. And in this video, I just want to go into a little bit more detail and show you how it's used in the application that we're going to be building. So here you see that we have the image list one control on the form. And if we go over here to the properties section, you can see it has its name and I'm going to change that to form images and it has a color depth property. So you can adjust the color depth that the images allow. I'm going to change this to 16 bit. It has a collection that stores the actual images. And let me go ahead and open that up. What you can do is actually add images from different sources so that they can be referenced on the form, either in a picture box, which I'll show you shortly, or in other types of controls. So I'm going to add a few here right now. Let's click on Add. And I have some national flags here. We'll start with France. So now it's added the France.png file, and it adopts the file name as the name of the resource. And it shows the dimensions and various other details about the image, including the resolution. And now I'm going to add a couple more. Let's see if we can add them all at once. And we can. So now I have four images in here, one for each national flag. When I click OK, I'm going to go ahead and add a picture box control just going to drag that over here. The picture box control is a real quick way to show a specific image on the form. And I'm going to name this PB flag. And I'm going to move this picture box aside a little bit and I'm going to add a button to the form. I'm going to rename it to BT and load. And then I'm going to make the text load image. Let's expand that a bit. There we go. Now I'm going to double click on the form and what that does, it actually activates the default event, which is the click event. I'm going to double click on that and that opens up the code editor. Now I can enter some code for when the user clicks on it. So for just a second, let's go back and look at the properties panel under the events. You can see where it is now added that click event to the actual click event for the button. And when you click on the events tab for the properties panel, you can see that there are quite a lot of different events that you can use to respond to various conditions. So C Sharp gives you quite a bit of control with how your application can respond to user actions and system events. But right now we're just working with a click event. So let's go ahead and double click on that again. What I want to do here is take one of the images from the image list and add it to the picture box control. So I'm going to do some very short code here and it's not going to be as complete as I would usually do it. It's going to be short and to the point. I'm going to say PB flag image equals form images images and I'm just going to use the index number because the images within the image list are numbered. So I'm going to take the first one that it finds. And of course statements in C sharp end with a semicolon. So let's go ahead and go back to the form and I'm going to go ahead and start the application. I'm going to click on load image and see what happens. So that's loaded it up. It's not quite as big as maybe I wanted it, but let's see what we can do about that. Let's go ahead and close it. Then I'm going to come down here in the properties and I'm going to use a size mode setting. Click on zoom. See what it does now. And there it's a bit bigger. Now obviously the resolution isn't, isn't quite what we wanted, so I would have to play around with the actual images and the settings on the form image list but you get the idea how that works. 
let's go back to the code real quick and you can see how this click event responded when I clicked on the button and it simply took the first image that it found. Let's go back to the form images for a second. We'll get the collection. Again, it uses the names of the files as the actual name of the image. And also you see the physical dimensions here, which is why that was so blurry because it was taking a 16 by 16 pixel image and trying to expand it in that picture box. The images were bigger than that when I first loaded them, but obviously it compressed them down. But it does have the names of the flags, so let's choose a specific flag. Let's close that, go back to the code, and instead of images zero, I'm going to specify the name, UK BMP. Let's see what that does. Okay, that didn't do anything, and I think the reason why is because it's not a BMP file, it's a PNG. So let's go ahead and start that again. And it loaded it right up. So that's how the image list works. You can add it to the form and use it within your code to add images to your form. Now for the rest of this project, I'm going to be using an image list of playing cards. So let me go ahead and delete this one. Let me go ahead and click on build. And what this is going to do is compile the solution. I want, to, want you to see what happens when it does it. Okay, you notice it pops up an error down here, down on the error list, because you have code that's referring to that control that's no longer there. So let's go ahead and remove this code or let's just comment it out for now. You can do commenting in C sharp with the double forward slashes and you can see that error disappears. So I'm going to add a new image list to this application. Come over here to the form design and I'll go ahead and drag another image list over. I'm going to call it card deck and I'm going to make the color depth 16 bit just in case. Probably doesn't need that much, but might as well. I'm going to set the image size to 50 by 70 because I happen to know that's the dimensions of the card images that I have. Under the images collection, I'll go ahead and import some cards. So I'll click add and here I have my cards. You can see that I have also the images for the backs of the cards too, either blue or red. And I have the jokers and click open. It imports them all. As you can see, it's used the file names as the name of the image. Going to click OK. Going to come back here to the code, remove this commenting, change the name of the image list here to card deck, and I'm just going to take the first one that it finds. And remember that very often numbering starts at zero in C sharp and other programming languages, so that's why that's a zero. Go ahead and click start and load image, and it finds the two of clubs. So that works pretty well. Now we have an entire card deck at our disposal for use within the program. And in future videos, I'll show you how we start to automate the display of some of these cards on the screen. So stay tuned.